What is up guys? This is Jay here, J Media One, and today we got another cool product to review. We're gonna do an unboxing today. Today we're looking at the MX Master 3. Now this one is different than the last MX Master that I talked about because this one specifically is for Mac. So my setup is kind of different than other people's. I have every single Mac device. I have the iPad, I have an iMac, I have the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, I have all of them. All the iPhones, all that stuff. But I also am a big enthusiast of building computers, so I have a pretty tricked out gaming machine. And I run that on a super large monitor that's able to split four ways between four different monitors. So I'm still a, an enthusiast when it comes to the non-Mac side. I love the ecosystem of Mac, and I have a lot of things that are Mac, or Apple I should say, but I am still an enthusiast on that side. So, with my MX Master, I plan to use that for my Windows devices, and this one I plan to use for my Mac. Why? Because MX Master has proven to be one of the greatest mouse mice in existence. It is fantastic. It's so good that I bought a second one. So that being said, let's just get straight into the unboxing. It's all white here, nothing too fancy about it. It is a nice clean looking box at least. Just gonna get our handy dandy razor blade there. We're gonna tear into her. So you just got this little tab here. Gonna cut, if we can cut through that straight. And then you got this little hook on top. We're going to pop that out. We're going to pop this box out. So I know some people with Macs run into a few issues with Logi Options. Logi Options is what makes the MX Master so good because every button on here is customizable through that program. So if you're having trouble with Logi Options, you're not going to really love the mouse as much as you should. It does have a great form factor, but that software makes it what it is. So let's go back to the unboxing here. So it comes in a black box like that. There are two different colors with this. I did opt for this color because I think it matches all the Apple devices really well. When we open it up, we see it right there. And it's super beautiful. It's smooth. It's just got a great form factor. And look how that fits inside my hand. It's just wonderful. I mean, it's it's got a, such a great feel to it. This mouth is worth this mouse is worth every single penny that you will spend on it. As a matter of fact, I would spend double the amount of money for this mouse because it's that good. You hear that the buttons here hardly make any noises. They're so quiet, you can't even tell. Uh, you do got the horizontal scroll wheel. You got two buttons right under your thumb where they should be. You got a little button down here. I have a Magic Mouse, and the Magic Mouse is cool because it can do some cool things. I mean, double tap, and it's all glass and, and everything. If it would have shaped it like this, it might have worked even better. Put a couple more peripherals on it, too. Scroll wheel's nice. It scrolls up to a thousand lines a uh, second, and you can see there how fast. I'm just hitting it once, and it just keeps going. You just hit it, and it rolls. It doesn't stop, which is awesome. It tells you how good of quality it is. Great part is they put the charge port right here on the front so you can charge this thing while you're using it. You got some of the sticky tape underneath. We're just going to get rid of that. There is this little box that it comes with as well. They do give you a USB-C to USB-C cable, as you can see there. And that's just nice because everything has USB-C, especially on a Mac. So you can plug it in there and you can plug it into your computer and go ahead and charge it up you got a little bit of reading material inside of here uh, nothing too special now this one is created specifically for the mac which makes it very nice because um, that means that it will come preloaded with some things that apple specifically has to offer now we have our mac book here as you can see i'm just going to fire this guy up from this angle, I think you can see a little bit better just how good it looks. <clears throat> now, in order to pair this guy, it's pretty simple. You just turn it on, first of all, so you flip the switch. And you see underneath here where it says 1, 2, 3. Okay, that means you can pair it to three different devices. Number one is blinking right now. If you hold this down, it puts it right into Bluetooth pairing mode. You never need a dongle. 
never need a dongle i will repeat that so bluetooth is the way to go i hate dongles we're just going to load it up here so if we look we see the mx master 3s i have to be a little bit careful because i already have one of these paired to this so we need to make sure that it's the right one so i'm going to go down here to where it wasn't paired this is the 3SM. So they do give it the M on the end, which means for Mac, it's got 45% charge right now, and it's ready to roll. And if you can see, it's already paired, and it's good to go. So Logi Options, Logi Options is what you want to download in order to get this thing, you know, pretty much set up to where it's got all kinds of fancy and fun um, abilities and things that you can do. Now this is the problem that I was running into with my MX Master. See how it says no devices detected? This thing's already connected. Why in the heck would it say no de devices detected when it's connected? That makes zero sense. If you click on add devices, you can open this, this uh, Bolt app here, this Bolt device, which I already have installed, where it says add or remove from Bluetooth with the Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth settings. And you can see it's connected, it's right there the uh, 35M. So if I go into the basic mouse settings, it lets me change my mouse settings there, which I already have that set up. So if you go to mxsetup.logi.com, you can find this here. And this is the um, this is the Logitech website. Of course, it's gonna add some background apps. It's gonna open system settings and ask us to allow it. But we did find Logi Options Plus, and that might be our key here, is that uh, we didn't have Logi Options Plus installed before. We just had Logi Options. So we're gonna quit and reopen. Uh, Logi Options, once we have the input monitoring set. So the input monitoring set has to be on, and it'll say it's able to monitor your input from the keyboard, whatever. We need that on. You can see the little blue button there, it's on. Background items are added, and for some reason it keeps kicking it off. We're back to restart, fixed it, and so here we are. We're going to show you the rest of the uh, setup here. So we plugged it in because we only had 60%, so it shows you that it's charging right now, which is good. Um, if you click on it, this is where you're going to set everything up. So if you click on the this button right here in the front, which is going to be this button right here, it basically has little circles that let you pick what you want everything to do. I have mine set up for dictation. This is made specifically for Mac, so it's going to have Mac options like that on there. A lot of mine are for Mac options, except for this back button I do for undo because it's something that I do a lot. Control Z would be the same thing, but this is way faster. Uh, horizontal scroll is really nice if you are doing a lot of video editing because you can scroll on your timeline with it. Uh, we have mission control set up here, launch pad on the top, and then I have calculator set up over here. Now, mind you, you can do whatever you want. It tells you what's recommended, then it gives you the option for keyboard shortcuts, so you can hit like command Z uh, for undo, and it would also do the same thing. You can also come down here and you can see that there's other actions such as gestures, your back button, your brightness up and down, you can launch the calculator, desktop left, desktop right. Do nothing, blah, 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 blah. So all the way down, you can do all this stuff. Um, the horizontal scroll, like I said, that is, a, that is a fun, cool feature that is typically only on um, this mouse. And I love these mice so much that I did buy two. I'm not going to lie, I have, already have one. As you can see, that's why I had so much trouble with Logi Options. Uh, but there's a Logi Options Plus, so if you guys ever run into that issue, definitely get the Logi Options Plus, wipe out the other one, restart your computer, and everything should be fine or A-OK. -okay. Um, I'm going to use my other MX Master mouse for my Windows PC and laptop. I will use this mouse for all of my, like my tablet, my uh, computer here, and my iMac inside the house. So I'll have some different options, but I do love this mouse enough to buy two of them, and that should say a lot. Um, lots of setup features, lots of cool options. This does have firmware update right from the interface here. So if we go back, you can see, if we click here, 
you can go to settings and you can check for an update and you can do a firmware up, update right from there. And you could also uh, launch a tour that kind of tells you how to use it. If you're having some troubles, uh, you can restore it from factory or you, you can restore it from backup or you can restore it to factory settings. So it'll automatically back up all of your devices to the cloud. That's kind of cool. So if you lose stuff, you don't have to worry too, too much. That's, that's a nice feature. You can remove the device altogether. Uh, the flow here is use and control multiple computers seamlessly with flow. You can switch to another computer by simply moving the cursor to the edge of the screen. You need to transfer text, images, or files between computers. Just copy them on one machine and paste them on the other. And you have to set that up with what computers you are going to be using. Now, Mac already has something like this. It's called continuity. And you can use continuity mouse, continuity keyboard. Continuity camera now is out, and it's very, very cool. So not so much on the Mac. Flow would be great for Windows, uh, for sure. So I'm not sure if you can use that, uh, on, if you can use this on Windows, because I've never uh, seen the Logi Flow thing. But I never had version 2, so it's possible. Um, easy switch. That's the cool feature, too. Um, you do have this, if you look underneath, you can see there's a 1, 2, and a 3 here. Three different computers. You push this button and it will switch between whatever computer you are to the next computer to the next computer. So you can set this up for three different Macs, an iMac, a MacBook, and maybe you're an iPad, if you wanted to. Um, or you can just set it up for one and use the continuity mouse. Or if you only use one at a time, that's when that would be super advantageous. This thing works on glass. It's got these super smooth feet here. So it will work on all surfaces. Not all mice do that, so that's very cool. You also have the charging port on the front. That's one of um, the Magic Mouse's big mishaps because the Magic Mouse's charging port's like right here. And therefore you have to plug underneath. You have to go like this and plug underneath. Well, you can't use a mouse when it's plugged underneath, you ding-dongs. I'm surprised they kept that feature. They have a new version now. They now have black ones out and all this other cool stuff. And they still kept that feature. It's like, what are you thinking, Apple? Sometimes it just blows me away. So you do have that. Now, in order to pair this thing, and you're going to want to use Bluetooth because Bluetooth is the best. It's flat out. You don't want to lose the little dongles. I probably have 700 mice around here, and I can't find any of the dongles. Because once you plug them into a computer, they all look the same, first of all. And second of all, they just get lost easy. They're only that big. Right? So Bluetooth's the way to go. Use Bluetooth. Um, that being said, um, I know that some Windows PCs are a little finicky with Bluetooth, especially Windows tablets. They're terrible with Bluetooth. So maybe, maybe not. But I can tell you that this mouse has great Bluetooth range. Um, I could sit on my couch with this mouse and control my Mac Mini that's hooked up to my TV. So it does have great range as well. On and off buttons up here, you just turn it on and off. That's, that's simple. Now the gliding, I'm gonna show you how it glides. It's really smooth. See that? It glides very, very smooth. I'm barely giving it any force and it's sliding. There's no issues. We do have a big uh, desk pad right here, which I recommend everyone gets a desk pad, jmedia1.com if you wanna pick one of yours up. And then, um, so it has the three different spots where it's gonna glide, right? The form factor, numero uno, awesome. The scroll wheel. You can see it just scrolls forever. It doesn't stop scrolling. Look at that. And you can switch that. You can make it ratcheting so that it doesn't do that. I just prefer that. It's still rotating. Um, so very cool options here. Uh, if you look at the easy switch, Right there, you can see that it's telling me, hey, the easy switch is only paired to one computer. There's no other computers paired. Okay, press the easy switch and uh, and you can pair this thing to other computers. So that's, that's kind of cool. So anyways, guys, I love this thing. I think it's worth every penny and um, you should go out there and get one for yourself. Now, I will leave a link down below as I always do. If you guys like this video at all, you can click the link below to buy me a coffee. I love coffee. And it's just a way to support the channel. It's a cool thing to do. Us creators out here spend a lot of time making these videos and we got to edit them and all that other stuff. So 
it's just really cool to hear that people actually care about what we're doing and they want us to do more. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Later.